History is very important. Hearing about the gay movement, hearing about the people who were like me and were fighting for rights had a great impact because it gave me a conduit, a, a way in which I could contribute. There were people doing that already that I didn't have to actually you know, be the first one, even if I have felt that, like that all my life. I've always had this, a great sense of fairness. What is fair? You know, what is a fair way of treating people? Don't tell me I have a long hill to climb. I don't give, care about that. I care only whether it's right. And anyone that comes from my background certainly wants to eliminate discrimination as much as possible against any group. My thing is I'd like to try to end discrimination, which is prevalent throughout everything, legal, judicial, society itself. So I said, you need a think tank, so, uh, somebody that's going to really study the issue. And I made an investment of two, two and a half million, which is a, at that time, no one in the country ever gave two and a half million for gay and lesbian stuff at all, anywhere. Never been heard of. I put my energy more and more into as time progressed in my life to saving people from HIV. That became my new work. After Vietnam, it became HIV, AIDS, and that's continued to be my work right now. The interesting thing about uh, Men of All Colors Together in New York is that it has been about working on the issue that this society has never worked on in terms of bringing people together and say, hey, we're gonna work on racism, we're gonna work on sexism, we're gonna work on homophobia, we're gonna work on anti-AIDS discrimination, and this is how we're going to do it. As I started getting older, and like I was moving into my 50s and 60s, um, I had a friend who's about 10 years older than I am, who said to me once, welcome to the age of invisibility. I've rejected that notion and just decided that I am a tribal elder now. My gay superpower is uh, the ability to, uh, to work magic, to be fabulous, to spread fairy dust everywhere we go. That's our superpower, is being able to transform what was devastating and a stigma into pride and life and fabulousness.